Well, how are you guys doing today? This is John again, and I figure I'd bring a, a kind of a first, couple first, uh, for the new year. Uh, again, this would be my first video of the new year. Sorry it's been so long since I put out a video, but I figure I might as well make it count, right, you know? So this is my first uh, video of the new year, and I'll do my first dishwasher uh, video of the new year. Uh, the last video I talked about my furnace. Um, many of you have liked that video. Uh, it was a good informational video. It seems like it's helped quite a few people. Um, I may do a couple other ones about me, the furnace. Um, I want to do another washer video, so stay tuned. Uh, that will be coming up sometime by the end of this month, I would think, maybe a little bit sooner. Um, so I'll do another Samsung washer video. But in the meantime, so uh, as I've told many people, I moved to a new house up here in Alaska. And this dishwasher that we're looking at is a Frigidaire Gallery. That's a Frigidaire Gallery top control dishwasher. And we'll go over the model number real quick. What I wanted to do is kind of an instructional video on how to clean uh, these dishwashers. Now, before I get a lot of flack, no, I did not choose this dishwasher. This dishwasher was here when I moved into the house. Um, of course, the expense of moving, getting the house and everything, I'm kind of a little uh, strapped for finances. So I, I just made the best of the situation and said, you know what, I'll just work with this dishwasher for right now. Do the best I can with it until something major happens, and then I'll probably upgrade to a better one. Um, dishwashers, if you're looking for a dishwasher recommendation, um, if you're looking for a brand new dishwasher, I would definitely recommend. No, I, I can only think of two brands right now that actually make an exceptional dishwasher, um, and and it, you, the names will probably surprise you, but it, number one would be Maytag. Stay away from its twin, the Whirlpool, uh, but Maytag. They have a totally different wash system. They have a higher amperage motor than their Whirlpool cousins. Again, Maytag, and then secondly would be GE. GE has makes an excellent dishwasher. They have a excellent wash system they have going on with their dishwashers, kind of similar to this Frigidaire, but a better design. Uh, Frigidaire's design is a little cheap in quality. I'm going to go into that here in a little bit. Anyway, so just two recommendations. This Frigidaire. We're going to kind of zoom in here. Hold on. There we go. So this one here is the T, I'm sorry, FG HD or FG HD 2465, something like that. Anyway, Frigidaire Gallery, it's about 2012 model. Um, this one has the granite interior, they call it, with the nylon racks and all this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to investigate and clean inside right here. All right. So I'm going to turn the light off real quick because i got some good out, uh, extra lighting going on. Um, but anyway, so again, this dishwasher came to my house. So we're going to take the rack out, set that aside. Now... This wash arm down here, this originally did not come to this dishwasher. I actually had to add this onto this particular dishwasher because the original wash arm had the what they, they call it the orbital spray arm, where it has a um, kind of a blue uh, circle that spins around um, and kind of gets in a 360 degree motion of getting all the dishes washed. Well, uh, that uh, orbital spray arm was broken when I bought this house and got this dishwasher. So instead of me showing out four or five hundred bucks for another dishwasher, I just said, you know what, I'll just spend forty dollars and just get a wash arm and that's what I did. It's not as fancy as your orbital spray arm, but I believe this will last a lot longer. So in order to take this off, you have this tab right here. You turn it this way, it unlocks it, pull it up, and you can pull everything out. They call this a glass trap. Now it's supposed to catch big particles, glass, bones, toothpicks, etc. from going down into the strainer here. Now let me get my flashlight. Because uh, this thing is so bright. So that's what it looks like in there. And I'll kind of focus in there. Now this thing is your fine strainer. You have a stainless steel up top here. 
and then it's kind of plastic down below. This actually, if you grab down here, you can just lift it right out. Just that simple. Lift it right out. Now down here, you have pretty much the guts of your dishwasher. You have the spout where all the water comes out there. There, that's, that's a lot better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to focus in on, I see those two metal screws back there. We're going to take those out. These are T20s, a T20s, a Torx. I'm going to get my trusty screwdriver here. T20s, so we're going to take those out. And there is going to be some residual water down here as well. Look at that. It's a marvelous thing. So you get them loose, you don't really have to pull them all the way out. I'm trying to get to this one back here. Oh, now my screwdriver fell into the water. Okay. So once they're loose, Do I have, I got one back here. Can you see that? One right there, so there's three of them. It's been a while since I've taken this off, but you wanna do this every six months or so. I did this when I first moved in. Now I'm gonna do it again. Um, if you want, you can do it even more often uh, to make sure everything stays clean. And now, bam, there you go, look at that. Ooh, that was nasty, wasn't it? That's why you gotta clean this thing. So. That's what it looks like right there. Yeah, we're gonna rinse that off here. You got a check ball. Take the check ball out. Make sure you don't lose that little check ball. That check ball bounces between different wash modes. So what happens when this dishwasher washes, you got your motor right here. When this dishwasher washes, it sucks in water through here, pumps it out right here. Okay? So you can either A, go through the top and hit this part of the wash arm, or B, when it stops, it moves the check ball and it sends water propelling that way all the way up and hits to the second wash arm and the very top wash arm. And it does that constantly as it washes. It stops, check ball, goes back, it starts up again, all that stuff. So, anyway, so I just thought I'd give you an intro video for Jadair dishwasher, how it kind of works, um, how to clean them. They're very easy to clean, maintain. Um, they can be problematic. I um, haven't had too many issues with this one outside of some different things with the wash on breaking and had to run some vinegar in here. I have hard water up here in Alaska. As you can tell by the, the scalies on my um, heating element here. It can cause this dishwasher to have kind of like a high-pitched whirling noise. So you got to run some vinegar. I should probably do another shot of vinegar in this thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, you guys have a great 2013 and be looking forward to some more videos as the time comes. Thank you. Bye.